Are we going to be back in Sweden for 2025? Because that is genuinely a possibility with this, oh my god. Hi, I'm Kyle and today I'm going to be reacting to Sweden's entry for Eurovision 2024. Now the song is called Unforgettable uh, and it's by Marcus and Martinez. Oh, I hope I said that right, I'm very sorry if I didn't. And I believe they competed last year um, to represent Sweden at Eurovision 2023 uh, with the song Air, I think it was called. Uh, I remember listening to it at the time. Um, I did quite like it, uh, but Tattoo was my favourite song of last year by far, so I definitely <laughs> definitely wanted that one to win by Loreen. But yeah, like I said, I did like Air last year, so I wonder if they are going to go for a, a similar vibe. I know it was very um, kind of that electronic EDM vibe, uh, which I really like. That is my style of music that I listen to a lot. Um, so if they do go down that route again, I will be a very happy boy. <laughs> Must have been very weird having Loreen hand the trophy over to them as well when they won. Uh, God's in the she zone that beat them last year, bless. But yeah, I'm excited. I mean, Sweden is, you can always rely on Sweden. They're gonna send a really good, good pop song. It's gonna have amazing stage and it always has. I'm trying to remember the last time uh, Sweden sent a song that was of poor quality, because there's definitely been songs that I haven't liked from Sweden. I can't remember which one it's called, but whichever one, when they were like running on those treadmill things on the stage, I wasn't a fan of that at all. Um, but I still know it was a great pop song, you know, and it had absolutely amazing production and stage. And so you know Sweden always going to deliver on that, so I've, I've got very high hopes. But yeah, let's get into the reaction. Just before I do hit play though, uh, if you are a fan of these Eurovision reactions or if you are a fan of just kind of that modern pop music reactions as well, uh, then please drop a subscribe. Uh, you know, I do quite a, a lot of the, that modern pop music, so Ariana Grande, Jewel of Peep, you know, along those vibes. So if you do, if you do care about that sort of music, <laughs> it would mean a lot. Please let me know what you think of this entry uh, for Sweden down in the comments as well. And while you're there, give it a like if you want. If you fancy, you can give it a like. Okay, I'm going to hit play in three. Two, one, let's go. Crowd cheering. Sounds like we're getting that electronic vibe again, and I'm here for it. Okay. Vocals are sounding great. Love that. Staging. Oh, like I said, as we expect in Sweden, staging is on top. Okay. Choreography. I remember that from last year as well, they like, great choreography together. Great stage presence as well. Okay, the song has just started, but I think I've loved it so far already. And it's really got that electronic, dancey EDM feel, which is the type of music I do listen to quite a lot, as well as pop music. So definitely not complaining there. And yeah, the staging as well. Similar to... Ah, what's it called? What's it called? What's it called? What's it called? Benjamin something, one another. He represented Sweden as well with Dance You Off. It's, you know, that, that kind of vibe. Uh, with the staging, I think it's quite similar. Now that I'm comparing, that's an issue. Just an observation. Just an observation. She's right, she's dangerous. She's unforgettable. Right, I'm with the title, I'm with the... Oh, I've got back on the screens as well, that's cool. Alright, okay. I see the vibe, I fuck with this. I absolutely fuck with this. I feel like I can sing along already. That's curious. Yeah, I think I'm gonna really like this. That chorus was that chorus was really, really good. That's right up my street, I do have to say. I don't really know if there's anything I can complain about yet about this, to be honest. Like I said, with Sweden. Great pop song, great staging, great choreography. You just know you're always gonna get a good song, don't you? Good performance. They look like they're having a fun time on stage as well, which always makes it so much better. I don't want to be spat out of the the stage is so cool. Say what? Well, I'm going to have the time of the line, but I That do, 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 is all in my production. I don't know what's that date on the back. Oh, the numbers kind of do this. <laughs> yes. I put with this choreography. <laughs> yes. Vocals have been on point throughout as well, and they're doing a lot of dance and a lot of movement, and that's, that's not the easiest thing to do in the world. So I do want to give them really good credit for that. Got a breakdown, we've got vocals. Building up. Oh! Why is this building is crazy? Alright! Alright! Oh, alright, okay. Alright, okay. I see where it was going. 
I'll see where it's going. I think personal preference there, I would have. It, it did sound like it was about going to like a really hard drop, uh, which I would have absolutely loved. But I know to expect that it's not, you know, as as much of an issue. Wow, yeah, that I can't lie, that ticked a lot of the boxes for me for what I look for uh, in just a song in general. To be honest, not even a Eurovision song. I absolutely love the use of of the colours and that kind of matrixy chord thing where I had like unforgettable on the screen in the back. I don't really know if there is much I would change <laughs> when taking it to the final. Honestly, I think you could just pick that, ship it straight to the final. They're gonna do really well with that. Like, that was really good. Yeah, I can't really think of anything that would need, uh, you know, polishing or anything like that. I had me dancing, my absolute shit dancing. <laughs> and I feel like I can sing along to it already. Um, I've spared it from you's watching. Um, I know you don't want to hear that too much. I feel like I can sing along to that already and I feel like that's so important in a Eurovision song. Because you really only have those three minutes out of like the 20 odd other songs uh, and then that like very few seconds in a recap. Uh, and that's what people, people have to remember it. People have to know the song and be like, yes, this is what I want to vote for. And I think this song has it, I do. From the lyrics that I heard, I'm getting a vibe that this is about a girl, a girl that's unforgettable, she's gonna, you know, leave you follow, eat you up, chew you up and spit you back out, that kind of vibe. Which again, for a good pop song, I think lyrics like that just fit perfectly, you know, they're relatable and they're not too complicated for people to sing along to, so. My ranking will also be down in the comments below. Uh, my current ranking of uh, all the songs, everything like that, if you want to know uh, my opinion on anything. <laughs> Please don't come for me if it's bad or the crap. It's just my opinion, I promise, I'm sorry. I do have quite a weird taste when it comes to Eurovision songs and a lot of people's favourites are normally not near the top for me, so I'm sorry, I'm sorry, please don't crucify me. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you do like Eurovision and pop music reactions, if you could drop a subscribe, it would mean a lot. Please let me know what you thought of this song down in the comments as well below. I'd be very curious as to see uh, how well how well it's been taken by the, the general Eurovision audience. This is very much my style and vibe of music, so I'm very happy with it. Well, thank you and till next time.